Most of us don't mind paying a little extra for something as long as we're getting our money's worth. But I'm not sure why anyone would pay extra to heat water. I mean, hot water is hot water. You're looking at the best way to reduce your utility bill. Your water heater is the second largest consumer of energy in your home. And this is the system that outperforms all other water heaters in the southeast. Before we take a look at the solar thermal panels, I'd like to show you the rest of the system. Come on. Now, the main storage tank is very similar to a regular electric water heater. They're typically larger in our solar system because we want to store as much solar heated water as is practical. This one is 120 gallons. This is where the backup element is. If the sun is not providing that heat, this element comes on, you'll never know the difference. Yes, if you heat your water with gas, you can have a solar heater too. Either way, you need some kind of backup for those long, cold winter spells where the sun can't meet your demand. But you can expect your solar water heater to meet somewhere between 80 and 90% of your demand for hot water. This smaller tank on top is the drain back tank. It holds about 10 gallons of distilled water that is used as a heat transfer fluid. When this controller senses that there's enough solar heat available, it turns these two pumps on. The larger pump pumps water from the drain back tank up to the roof where it passes through the solar collectors absorbing solar heat and then it drains by gravity back to the drain back tank. This smaller pump circulates water from the storage tank through a heat exchanger in the bottom of the drain back tank where that heat is transferred then to your main storage tank. The system will cut itself off when there's no more heat to be harvested or when the tank reaches the maximum temperature. The controller indicates that the system is operational. It tells us that the collector temperature is 129.3 degrees and the tank temperature is 116.6, so there's still solar energy to be harvested. The typical system will have two or three panels connected together. The water from the pump enters the lower corner and fills the collectors up from the bottom to the top and then flows out at the top corner. When the pump shuts off, all the water drains down from the system. That's the term drain back. The solar thermal collectors themselves are made in Jacksonville, Florida. They're made of extruded aluminum, high temperature foam insulation, shatterproof tempered glass, and copper. Copper that's been coated with a special material to enhance its heat collection properties. They're designed to last for 30 years, but there's really nothing to wear out, and I suspect they're going to last a lifetime or two. Now, the typical solar drain back water heater system will cost you between five and six thousand dollars installed after your 30 percent federal tax credit. It'll break even around year seven and will save you over thirty thousand dollars by year 20. You can keep dumping money down the drain or you can get something real that will keep giving you back. Solar water heaters are very popular in many places but you see very few of them in Alabama. People just don't know but now you do. If you have a south facing location with no shading, what are you waiting for? Reduce your dependence on fossil fuels and spend your hard earned money on something else. Every minute you delay is money out of your pocket.